Hello everybody out there, this is Armageddon time once again for another delicious episode of Let's Play. This time I decided to do my favorite game of all time, aptly titled Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Now nobody requested this, this is all me, I, I, I don't know, I've been going through a couple of different ideas of which game I should do next, but I figure... You know, what would a Let's Player be without doing their own favorite game? I don't know why this is my favorite game. I guess I just have memories of finding it in my Christmas sock when I was young and then I started playing it. Anyway, here's the story. After Ganon was destroyed, Impa told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She would wake only if the power of number three Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the seal, crystals must be placed in statues in six well-guarded palaces. Link set out on his most adventuresome quest yet, 1987 Nintendo. <sighs> that came out as a lot of garble goop, but you get it. Basically, wake up the princess, crystals and castles, you know what's up. Now, AAA, that's not right. We are going to delete that one and start a new one. Call me old-fashioned. I know. Link. Big surprise. Alright! Now, I'm not really going to explain the mechanics to this, as you can probably figure it out eventually. Well, okay, maybe I'll give you a little something. Basically, what you see in the top right is experience points. On the left are, what, are the experience points you have right now, and on the right are the actual amount you need in order to get to the next level. And every time you gain a level, as you can see from the three things to the left of that, life, magic, and attack, each one is right now at level one, and they can all go up to level eight. And with each new level is, you know, you uh, require more experience points with every time. I don't know, you've probably seen other Let's Plays of this, so I'm not going to get into it too much. I just like playing the game. We're actually going to do a couple things before we even go to the first town. Actually, no, I'm going to do two things, then I'm going to go to the first town. First one is get a level up. Eek. Look at that, it takes two hits to kill these bats. Just you wait until near the end of the game. You're gonna be laughing. Now here we go, pee bag. 50 points, level up. I'm not the kind of guy that cancels my levels up until the, I don't know, until the next one so that I can get a free extra life or whatever. Now I'm gonna do something crazy. Alright, maybe that wasn't the crazy I was going for. Oops, there we go. Forgot it took two hits to kill those guys right now. <laughs> Alright. Ow! Stupid, uh, moblins, that's what they are. Whoops! Oh, you can't do anything when I'm on the road, can you, suckers? Alright. I'm supposed to have the candle to go into caves, but for some reason I just don't feel like it. And I'm going to venture into this cave blind. I think there's three of these dudes. Come on, where's the third one? Those ground dwelling beasts. I, don't know, I think if you look really hard, you can actually spot them. There. Now, there's nothing else along this path except for in these little crevices here. There's Octorox. Now what you do is you just go around killing those guys. There's the third one, and boom! We have a magic container! Look at that! We've hardly done anything. I've taken only a little damage, and we already have one magic container. We are off to a very good start. And look, I'm almost at a level up. Heck, if I kill a couple more of those bots, these little things, I'll have another level up. <laughs> ah. You tease me, game. Come on. There we go. Yay! Now you'd assume that attack would be the next level up, because we know we just did... Oops, not paying attention. We did life, then we did magic. But no, for some reason they want to make you wait. And... Huh. Weird that it followed me. They want to make you wait and have another life level up, which I guess is okay. 
before you even get your first attack. Now we are off to get our first magical spell. Welcome to Raru. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sign. I appreciate it. Now what do you have to say? Hello, young fellow. Hmm, sounds almost like my grandma. And you say, hello. Well, how nice. It's nice that the townspeople are very welcoming. Return the crystal to the palace in Parappa, which is where the first castle is. Palace, whatever. It's all the same to me. What do you got to say? If all else fails, use fire. Oh, how typical of us in this day and age. If we don't like something, kill it with fire. Oh, wait. I'll show you what she says beforehand. I can restore your life. Huh. What, ex what favors did you exactly pull from me, Miss Lady? Why are you in such a hurry? I am much too busy to talk to a stranger. Well, I guess that teaches us good values and stuff. Anyway, here's what she says. Please let me help you. Come inside. She doesn't even know me and she invites me in. Well, maybe word has spread of Link throughout the land after Zelda 1. Only the hammer can destroy a roadblock. Sweet. So that means I will be hammering it up at some point soon. Now if you walk by a house, sometimes people walk outside. These people are very important. You definitely want to talk to them. For example, this uh, purpley blue lady. Talk with my father before you leave town. With no period at the end. Go figure stupid limitations of talking. Now the door opens, you press up. Genius, I know. Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. All right. Let's see. What does the wise man have to offer me? In Parappa Desert, use this magic to survive. Well, I can't use it anywhere else? Shield. That will come in juicingly handy. What I think it does is doubles your defense and attack. Which will be very useful later on. I think so. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really used it that much, but that's me. Find the heart in southern Parappa. That's where we're going next, actually. After we talk to this kid. What's this little shrimp gotta say? Get candle in Paraba Palace. Go west. Okay. Somebody needs to learn how to speak much goodly. Alright, here we go. We're on a magical adventure. We're going to go through another cave blind. Everything is blue in caves. For some reason. Ah, that little... That little blade of light that comes from your blade of awesomeness is very useful sometimes. Just like you saw. No word. We could go to the castle up there. But we're going down. And well, first this enemy's going down. Luckily, there aren't any enemies when you hit the little guys in the, um, whatchamacallum, in the desert. Now, unfortunately, some of these areas cannot be skipped. Like, as you notice, I just walked onto a normal part of the road, and I went into, like, a battle zone area. And you can die really easily here if you are not careful, as I am demonstrating. I'm being rather reckless. And look at that. Right where I wanted to go, just so happened to land on a stupid garage. Die! Yes! Need heart bad. Yay! Ow! Uh, 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 uh. Kill it! I don't understand what it is, so I kill it! Anyway, as you just noticed, we got a heart, which increases our heart tanks, much like the magic containers did. Those will also be very useful as I seem to tend to get hit a bunch. For no particular reason, just because I darn well feel like it. Alright, time to take on castle number one. Well, maybe not yet. First, I desperately, for some reason, want to keep running into enemies. Alright, now, are we going to go there? Yes, we are. Alright, castle one. It's gray. Very bland. 